Hundreds of thousands of pupils in England, Wales and Northern Ireland will get their A-level and BTEC results today. Their grades are based on teacher assessments after exams were cancelled for the second year in a row because of Covid. In Scotland, students will receive their confirmed higher results. Well, Michael Billington is at Solihull Sixth Fulton College for more on this this morning. Good morning to you, Michael. So it's an anxious wait, isn't it, for students there? However, a record number of top grades are expected across the country today. Yes, good morning, Charlotte. Even before some of those results are out, some experts are warning about uh, so-called grade inflation in the teacher assessment system. But of course, it's been a really challenging year again for some of these students whose education has been disrupted by the pandemic. Kaya Palmer has uh, studied a BTEC in business. Kaya, just tell us how difficult the last two years have been. Well, obviously, it wasn't ideal. Um, my BTEC course was 100% coursework, which meant that during COVID there was a lot of independent learning. And for me personally, I prefer face-to-face -face learning, which meant that it was a struggle. And Abigail Hodgson, you studied a BTEC in applied science. Are you worried that the last two years and the disruption that you've had over those two years may impact on your final result? I think it could because we don't get we didn't get as much um, feedback as we would be uh, we were in college. So online it is very different. So I feel like it makes our results more unknown than if we were to get that feedback. And results in about an hour and a half's time. How are yeah. you feeling? Quite nervous, yeah. What about you, Kay? <laughs> yeah, very nervous, but obviously I'm proud of myself for the effort I've put in. OK, well, we wish you both the best of luck. Um, it has, as I say, been a challenging year. The Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, uh, has today said that students' achievements shouldn't be undermined by any debate over the marking system. Michael, thanks very much. Students across the country are finding out their A-level and higher results this morning. It's been a challenging year for them. Oh, come on, get on with it. I want to see the results. Oh, really? I'm still talking. All right, OK, OK, OK. Let's go to Michael. Well, I think we can go live uh, to Solihull <laughs> Sixth Form College from Michael Billington. Um, you're absolutely right, Ben. We cannot bear this any longer. He's still talking. Michael, take it away. <laughs> ben, I don't know about you, I get more nervous every time this happens than these students probably do themselves. Yes, we've kept them waiting for long enough. Just a one final quick question. How difficult has the last two years been? Well, it's been really difficult, especially in the lockdowns. It's much harder to motivate yourself. And I think all the sort of uncertainty has made it really hard to know like what you're working towards. Come on then, right. Put yourselves out of your misery. Let's open these results. <laughs> Remember, two years of really challenging education for these students who, of course, have been learning all the way through the pandemic. Already some smiling and laughing faces. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's good news from all of you. Uh, Kaya, how have you done? I got triple distinction stars. Congratulations. So Thank you've been you. studying a BTEC in business. What does yeah. this mean for you now? I'm going to go to Aston University to study business management and HR. Fantastic. And a, a big smile here from Charlie. What about yourself? Uh, I've got triple distinction star as well in my BTEC. Fantastic. So what does that mean for you? Uh, that means I'm going to go to Liverpool University, study architecture, hopefully, for the next few years. And uh, William, I mean, do you feel like finally the two years has paid off, regardless of what everybody yeah, might say? It's such a massive relief. <laughs> I feel like... Massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> so you've studied maths, physics and computer science. Pretty yes. impressive stuff. Thank What's, you. What does your future hold now? Uh, so hopefully Manchester University uh, to study physics for a master's degree. <laughs> and uh, Isabel, uh, I know you've done English literature, uh, psychology, history. How did you do? I got three A stars. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Some incredible results here from Solihull this morning. Regardless of what debate is going on about the marking system, we can't take away from what these uh, students are here to celebrate this yeah, morning. Yeah, I couldn't I agree more. Solihull more. College gets a gold star, doesn't they it? Get, they get triple, triple star distinction, distinction stars. Wow. Absolutely sensational. Well done to all of those students. Yeah. And I absolutely agree, Michael. It doesn't take it away, does it? I think when we did GCSEs, which is actually, you probably did O-levels, didn't you, because you're much older than I don't know. I think I just got a rock. But even when I was doing GCSEs, drawing. people said it's got too easy. The exams are too easy and they say it every year, don't they? But they it doesn't do. take away the hard work that no. they put in.